AN OCEAN COUNTY FIREFIGHTERS SAY THEY ARE MAKING MAJOR PROGRESS, BATTLING A WILDFIRE THREATENING TWO COMMUNITIES. OVERNIGHT, POLICE EVACUATED 170 HOMES IN MANCHESTER TOWNSHIP AND LAKERS. THE WILDFIRE IS NAMED THE JIMMY'S WATERHOLE FIRE AFTER A BODY OF WATER DEEP IN THE WOODS. LET'S GIVE YOU A LIVE LOOK NOW AT THE FIRE FROM CHOPPER 3. AT THIS HOUR, THE FIRE IS 60% CONTAINED. JUST WHITE SMOKE RIGHT NOW. THE CHIEF OF THE NEW JERSEY FOREST FIRE SERVICE SAYS THEY STILL, STILL DON'T KNOW WHAT CAUSED IT. So THIS WILL REMAIN UNDER INVESTIGATION. WHETHER WE ACTUALLY HAVE uh are able to determine a cause or not is still to be determined. Um, but keep in mind that approximately 99% of wildfires are human caused, whether that's accidental or intentional. Um, so we'll continue to look into it. Most roadways in the area have reopened, but two streets are still closed. They are Horican Avenue and Beckerville Road, that's just off Route 70. Tonight, the evacuation orders have been lifted. Nikki Dementry is in Lakehurst right now, and she spoke with neighbors returning home. Nikki? Hey there, Yuki. We're actually in a neighborhood just right off of Route 70. We're on Division and Cedar Street here. You can see there's still smoke behind me. I just want you to take a look at how close the houses are right now. I'm going to swing over to where the fire came up to, just right across the street. Now, all evacuation orders are lifted, but neighbors I spoke with as they came home today said they're thankful but still, still weary. All is quiet on Oak Street in Lakehurst Wednesday afternoon. The wind blowing, some neighbors out for a bike ride. A totally different scene, Perry and Anthony DuPont say, than hours before. They had about three helicopters flying overhead. They were dropping water. The DuPont family got orders to evacuate a late Tuesday night as flames from Jimmy's waterhole fire crept into their neighborhood. we being evacuated? Yes. Yeah. Uh, this whole block? Yep. It was a lot of like panicking, you know, and that's what I like as a community because we all just came together, had each other's back. Aaliyah Terry lives across the street from the DuPonts. She evacuated to Manchester Township High School, where the Red Cross says she and around 75 other people came to the emergency shelter. It's like a scary dream, honestly. It's pretty insane. I'm just really happy that everybody in the town is. Safe. The DuPonts went to a family member's home in Tom's River. But before leaving, Perry made sure to knock on his neighbor's doors. I had to go to different houses and um, wake people up to get them out of here because it was real bad. It was real bad. You don't want to leave anybody behind, especially people in your neighborhood who you grew up with. All evacuation orders were lifted just before 10 a.m. Wednesday. Throughout the afternoon, we saw state forestry crews and other first responders nearby. I'm still is worried because, you know, the fire is still going on in certain spots. Anything could double back. And that sentiment is something that many in this neighborhood have shared with me. They are still weary just to wait what's next. As you can see, one of the forest crews went by. They are patrolling the area to make sure there are no hot spots. Now, I also spoke with the Red Cross of New Jersey. They set up that original emergency shelter over at the high school. That is closed now. But if folks need to evacuate again, they will set up an emergency shelter once again. But for now, live in Lakehurst, Nikki Dementry sending it back to you all in the studio. All right, Nikki, thank you.